Now we're ready to factor this problem. Again, we are factoring with always remembering to look for the GCF first. The greatest common factor here between 16, 28, and 30 we see is 2, and all the fact, all the terms have at least a factor of x. Factoring 2x out will leave us with 8x squared plus 14xy minus 15y squared. We can now factor this trinomial using the AC method. We want to multiply to 8 times negative 15, or negative 120, and add to 14. Negative 120 is quite a large number and may be difficult to find the right pair of numbers. If the right pair of numbers is not obvious from the start, I make a list of possible factors of 120 and see if any of them will equal to 14, starting with 1. 1 times 120 gives us the 120, However, it clearly will not give us the 14. 2 goes into 120 60 times. However, again, we cannot use 2 and 60 to equal the 14. 3 also goes into 120 40 times. However, that does not equal 14 either. 4 goes into 120 30 times, and those also will not give us the 14. 5 goes into 120 24 times. However, that also does not give us the 14. 6 goes into 120 20 times. Notice, we can use 6 and 20 to get 14 if the 6 were negative. This works because we need them to multiply to a negative 120. Our numbers are negative 6 and 20. We can now factor this guy, keeping the GCF out front, using the numbers negative 6 and 20 to get the 14xy in the middle. This means we have negative 6xy and 20xy to work with. First, we'll split up the 8x squared. This might be 8x times x, however, we cannot factor 8x out of either the negative 6 or the 20. So we need another pair of numbers. Another pair of numbers would be 4x and 2x. Notice we can factor 4x out of the 20xy. When we factor 4x out of the 20xy, we get positive 5y. We can also factor 2x out of the other number, the negative 6xy. When we factor the 2x out, we get negative 3y. 2x times 4x minus 3y times 2x plus y will now factor our polynomial completely. Again, we do the GCF first and then use the AC method on the inside trinomial. Should the numbers get large using the AC method, we simply start making a list of possible factors of the top number to help us find the right combination that works.